Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to my living room. I know usually I'm in the basement, but my squids wanted to watch Hawkeye with me, but they didn't necessarily want to be filmed. So we're making do and I'm now in the living room where it's a lot warmer than in the basement. But here we are, episode one of the new Disney Plus series, Hawkeye. And I am excited because Hawkeye gets a lot of crap thrown at him and to me, no, he's just a guy that does his job and does it as best as he can. It's like, you know, Barton, we need somebody to climb a crane and shoot the big scary Viking. It's like, cool, on it. It's like, uh, Barton, we need somebody at the top of a building and shoot off stray Jataris. He's on it. Barton, we need a safe house. He's on it. He gets the job done. And so I'm excited to explore more of his character, uh, Especially him with his family. That's the only thing I really had a beef about Clint was the fact that he had the job that he had and still decided to have a family. It wasn't the, for me, it's not the smartest thing to do, but I'm excited to see where we go with his story. And I'm excited that you are sharing this time with me. So if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. And just so you know, everything I'm about to say is based on my experiences, research and observation. Uh, you have not lived the life I live, so our perspectives are different. It's called being people. So get comfy, get settled, and here we go. Ooh, 2012. This is first battle in New York. I can't remember. Okay, we have to sell the penthouse. No, we don't. That's that's what. Burn your nasty James. <laughs> How much did you hear? I don't want to move. Yeah, who wants to leave a penthouse in New York? <laughs> I wouldn't want to leave one either. Mommy said things don't just fall from the sky. Some people forget the one thing they can control. The choices they make in the face of it. Is dad going to die? What would you do? In the attack? I'll be downstairs in my office. When I sense bad things are gonna happen, I have to put my fingers in my ear. I have a feeling we're about to see the origin of Kate Bishop and her archery skills. Oh, we're gonna see the origin of Kate Bishop and her archery skills in 2012. Oh. This would have been terrifying. Get away from the windows. You need shoes. She needs shoes. Oh, wow. What a, what a view. Mm-hmm. Yep, this is what I thought we'd see. Mm-hmm, that's so awesome. What? He fell from the sky, that's right. <laughs> that's so awesome. Yeah. However, I missed why they were having to sell the penthouse and leave, and we haven't seen a body. And you know what they say. They say a train's coming. <laughs> God, I can't believe Avengers was almost 10 years ago. <laughs> so she trains herself to protect her and her family. So is, what is this little exercise that she's doing? Is this a job? Is she a thief? How is she using her skills when not? In danger. Does the bell swing back and forth or does the dangly thingy in the middle swing back and forth? Yes. What is that she put on the end of it? But it could be worse. This is bad. I'm terrified. I'm so scared. I'm so scared of Rogers the Musical. <gasps> oh my God, that's Adam Pascal. <laughs> oh 
Yeah, I think this would give me PTSD too. It's giving me PTSD just, yeah. Did you turn your hearing aid off? No, honey, I, I know what happens. Yeah, I think I turned it off too. No, it wasn't there. It's that, that guy. guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna give me nightmares. I don't know if I'll be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks good when a Hawkeye's walking out of the musical about him and his adventures. <laughs> then Ant-Man just slides in the bottom. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, uh, a selfie would be really rad, dude. Not now. Not now. Not now. No, I bet that happens to him in real life too. Now a better time. And again, I bet that happens to him now in real life too. Alright. And let's show mom what she's missing. Yeah. Wow, he got huge since the funeral. He was like at least up to his shoulder, I think, and now he's a good two feet taller. There you are. Look at that outfit. Is that just a regular lounging outfit? Is she going out? I know that young people think they're invincible and rich people think they're invincible, and you have always been both, so take it from someone who hasn't. You're not. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> What's with all the swords, Mom? Hun, uh, there have been a few changes while you're away this semester. Ta-da. Jack. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. What's with the... I... It's really hard to take people serious with a mustache shaped like that. It was so, it's so dastardly Dan. We'll see you at the party. See you there, honey. See you at the party. <laughs> you look like a man. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you so much. Well, we missed you too. How was the show? It was, it was, uh, it's over. It's really <laughs> you left halfway. There you go, there you have it. <laughs> Wait, that was only half of the story? What was Act Two about? Yeah, Dina Zonas. Oh, well, that's, that's not necessary. You saved our city. Couple times, actually. I'm loving this. I'm loving seeing Clint with his family just trying to live. Look at this party. Get back to work. <laughs> oh, she defiantly did not wear the red dress. I'm on. I'm on Duquesne. No, it's Gareth from Four Weddings and a Funeral. I'd appreciate it if you wear something a little more ladylike for the wedding. What wedding? You don't know. <laughs> Eleanor? You think so? Where is he? I'm not so sure. That's her mother he's talking about. What is happening? Uh, another Armand, I see. Yes, I'm Armand the Oh, that is Steve Zahn miniaturized. This conversation was kind of weird. I'm not sure what exactly he was trying to do. Was he trying to be protective of the mother or Jack? I guess we shall see. Oh, the dog has only one eye. Well, this isn't suspicious at all. This little gathering of people. I told you to come down here. Gary. I'm um, Gary. <laughs> so is this little auction charity or is it for their charity? So is this a super secret meeting amongst the super secret meeting? An artifact recovered from the wreckage of the Avengers <gasps> compound. Now oh, what? What? Now you can own this one of a kind retractable sword that should, oh, that is not, should not be in the hands of public citizens. The companion piece, the Ronin suit. Good God. <gasps> is that sword going to go missing? Seconds to find a watch. Everything else is secondary. Let's go. All this for a watch? Oh, oh 
She put it on. Hello. Uh, probably should have disguised her voice a little bit better. She did not think this through at all. Man, that thunk is a satisfying sound. <laughs> I love how they say he's getting away when the grunts coming from the body is very clearly feminine in nature. <laughs> yeah, this is the first time I bet she's like been in a fight fight and not a competition fight. It's the punches land different. Look behind you. She's gonna pull Shang-Chi double split. Well, that was nice. I found it. Who's watch? The one I dug. No. <gasps> what? No. I kill you. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Why'd you lift your mask, Squid Game? Apparently, this is a henchman we need to take note of. Dog pizza. That's what that dog needs is cheese. Oh, her phone can react with those big heavy gloves on. I need those. I need those gloves. Like we didn't see that coming. Get out. Don't touch the body. I'm not. No shit. Well, you were rather easy to track down then, weren't you? She should have been down. I'm sorry. Kick, kick to the ribs. That will take the wind out of you. Oh, oh. In New York City, how is she so incredibly easy to find? Please say he has a tracker in that suit. Because how else would he have found her so quick? But why would he need a tracker in his own suit? But there has to be a tracker in the suit. Come on. You're a, you're a Hawkeye. And who the hell are you? Da, da, da. So that was fun. I, I liked how as soon as we kind of saw that we were opening up in 2012, it clicked for me like, oh, yes, the attack on New York. She probably saw Hawkeye. That's what's inspired her to become an archer. And that's what happened. And I'm not upset that I figured that out. I was like, oh, this makes sense. And now I'm more connected to the story. And the fact that it was the scene where he did that dramatic fall backwards, I love that point of view. That was just great, a great visual of just him falling in front of her. And yeah, that was pretty amazing. And I think the, the musical has scarred me for a while. That, that made me twitchy. And Squidlet, my oldest Squidlet, recognized musical Ant-Man as uh, Nico from Newsies. So yay, he has another job. <laughs> so right now I'm liking parts of it, but I'm also confused by parts. And I don't know if it's I was just trying to pay attention too much and I don't know if I should be annoyed yet, but I'm not exactly sure who Armand was. Um, family friend-ish of who. Somehow he's also connected with Jack or knows Jack enough. Jack, Armand, David, whatever their last name is, they have the same last name. Okay. So they're family. Thank you. But what I'm, I'm, so Armand, but somehow they've known him for a while because Kate's known him for a while. He's got some kind of beef with mom. And so I'm not sure exactly what the conflict is there. I'm probably gonna need another watching to just really figure it out um, and why. And I have a feeling, okay, so I have two predictions. One, Jack's somehow a bad guy and that's why they want Ronan's stuff because I have a feeling Ronan was cutting out or taking down their organization. And I have a feeling dad Mr. Brian Darcy James, Mr. Bishop is gonna appear again because uh, nobody 
we've seen it no no body maybe he's not dead so those are my two predictions we still see how it goes and i can't wait to see another episode so thank you so much for joining me during this viewing i would love to hear your thoughts about this episode especially that musical i swear i swear you like the musical we have one fan <laughs> but if you haven't so already hit subscribe so you can see when we're dropping more content because again november is giving us an embarrassment of riches and i am here for it so thank you so much and until next time y'all mm -hmm.